For a long time, the idea of mining the seabed with heavy machinery at scale has been limited to science fiction. However, as technology has advanced, the prospect is now very much on the horizon. The idea was first proposed in the 1960s with the idea to collect potato-sized rocks called nodules that cover the ocean floor in some areas. Proponents argue that collecting these rocks, which are rich in minerals, is less damaging to the environment than traditional mining methods on land. Opponents are worried that if equipment becomes easily available, it could spark a gold rush that sees the ocean floor pillaged, especially in countries with less restrictions or in international waters without any regulation. With the global economy demanding more and more minerals like cobalt, which will support electrification of cars and other devices, interest has peaked and made the decision much more difficult. This week, major firms including Google, Samsung, Volvo and BMW have joined the environmentalists in calling for the mining proposals to be put on hold, citing that the undersea nature of the mining makes it very difficult to know what damage is being done. Calls are being made for the UN's International Seabed Authority to step in and provide assessments of the damage that could be done and set standards to ensure that it's minimised. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more stories.